bless you and continue praying for the nation because I believe you are leading us even as women into these prayers to keep the nation strong and firm. Thank you. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, Madam Rachel Ruto, our First Lady, the Deputy President, Gabe Gachagua, and Madam Dorcas Gachagua. Ladies and gentlemen, and the clergy, my job here will be very simple and very short today because We've had an elaborate program, and a lot of speakers have said a lot of important issues to us here. Your Excellency, when I stand here, I'm looking at a crowd of untold proportions. If only it was during the political mood, I'd have brought the earthquake. But uh, today I will not do the earthquake because earlier on Kanini Kega had a wild wind when he was talking. But I'll just want to do the following. Can I request the CSS who are here to stand up so that I can acknowledge them? I have a list here. I don't know whether they captured all, uh, but I, on the list I have Senator, I mean, well, Senator and CS. Uh, Mark Omen for transport. Thank you. I was given the name of Ezekiel Machogu. I don't know whether he's here. Ah, okay. Thank you. Education. Zachary Njeru from here. Elido Walo. Uh, Rebecca Miano. Uh, Mrs. Bore. And Susan. Help. Uh, Your Excellency, because these were prayers, who, who have I missed? Ah, Chilugui, sorry. Thank you. There were also very many PSs here, 24 of them. Can they stand up? As I mention your name, just wave and sit down. Raymond Omolo, Bitok Ambassador, thank you. Salim Dakota, Abdi Dubat, Mary Murioki, uh, Charles Hinga, uh, Beatrice Inyangala, thank you. Belio Kipsang, Joseph Motari, Patrick Mariro, very good, Jonathan Mweke, um, Tony Mbaika, Terry, Terry Mbaika, Alex Wachira, uh, Dolma, Olo, oh, no, sorry, Oloma John, Festus Neno, excellent. Um, Aurelia Rono, Esther Mohoria, Esther Nguero, Susan Mangeni, Joel Amoyong Yang, Asante Zana, Ismail Malim, Patrick Mariro, I, I think that's coming twice. Umi Bashir and Paul Rono. Is there anybody I've missed? Madime and Mutai. And who? Just raise your voice. Bogwa. Thank you. I was going by the list that had been delivered to me. Um, Your Excellency, I'll just make two remarks. First of all, Your Excellency, you were able to capture the minds of Kenyans because 
you sold the agenda of bottom up the economic transformation agenda for this country the short acronym is better you focused not on the elite but you focused on the common man and the small businessman and the small farmer that was the difference Your Excellency, you sold the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto. I want to tell Kenyans, the President did not win by selling revenge. The President did not win by selling revenge. He sold an agenda to transform this country. And in the Kenya Kwanzaa agenda, revenge does not exist. We want to unite the country under the leadership of William Samoy Ruto. We want to be a law abiding nation under William Samoy Ruto. And we want to have a nation of fairness and justice. The evil things that were visited on Ruto do not define his agenda. He has gone above that. He is now focused on growing this country. So those of us who are his lieutenants, I would like us to urge our Kenyans, whether you are in a county assembly, whether you are in parliament, whether you are in government, let us work together with the president to bring everybody together because five years is a short time. And we want to make sure that 2027 shall be a walkover. So on his behalf, let me plead that particular case. Being, having said that, let me also acknowledge, Your Excellency, that the hallmark of a mature democracy is a democracy that can transition smoothly and legally from one administration to another. You have done it. You have voted legally. You have voted smoothly those who had doubts you have indicated by the Supreme Court you are now the president there is no reverse gear and for those who still have doubts we can only ask the clergy to pray for them Waombe if you transit as a bishop the way Bishop Kitonga is transiting, he hands over to the next. If you are a Chief Justice, a strong judiciary is that once the Chief Justice has served his term, he transits and he allows the other Chief Justice to function. If it is an Inspector General, you do your job, when you transit, you allow the other Inspector General to do their job. You don't come back to the arena. So we are pleading and reminding those who have transited that the time now is for William Ruto. You transit and let William Ruto do his job. And as we stand here, we want to foster growth, we want to have equity, and we want to have a sustainable economy. And the person driving us is William Samoy Ruto. So for Kenyans, let us be focused, let us not be diverted, let us not have anybody to try and get us off track, and Your Excellency, we shall be very consistent and make sure that we are living up to what is expected of us. And I plead to other Kenyans to do so, and I also plead to the clergy to continue praying for those 
who may have found it difficult to accept the reality, bring them systematically to reality. The reality is William Samoy Ruto is the president. With those few remarks, I now want to call upon the Deputy President, His Excellency Rigave Gashago, Ajembele, Atoe Sauti, Alafa Mwalike, Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Asante sana. Thank you very much, uh, Prime, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, Your Excellency, the First Lady, Mama Rachel Ruto, Prime Cabinet Secretary, Cabinet Secretaries, Principal Secretaries, the leaders of the two houses, Senators, Members of Parliament, our spiritual fathers, the clergy, Wanainchi, God is good, and all the time, Mr. Dimeni Koheo, Bwana Yesu Asifiwe, Bwana Yesu Asifiwe Tena, Your Excellency, we continue once more to honor our church leaders for always being for us, for always according us an opportunity to thank God for his mercy to this country. Your Excellency, these spiritual leaders are a blessing to our country. They have come in through when this country was facing very difficult times and they interceded on our behalf. And God gave us grace and his mercy. And we have come out as a peaceful country. Today is a service for thanksgiving, to give thanks to the Lord for peaceful elections and a smooth transition. On top of that, to intercede for God to give us rain, to assist our young men who are facing challenges from alcoholism and drug abuse, to pray for economic recovery and for continued peace and tranquility in our beautiful country. But you guide you to to the same sana na tuna endelea kupatia kanisa heshima. Rais wetu kiongozi wetu wa taifa. Baada ya leo ni ya muhimu sana kwa sababu hawa wa Kristo wameigwa ya siku mingi kwa sababu kulikuwa na maagano ya kwamba tutarudi hapa kurudisha shukrani kwa Mwenyezi Mungu lakini tukapata matatizo pale mbele tukakuja kwa serikali yetu watu wajui Mungu wakasema tuachane na mambo ya kuomba Mungu na tuanze kuingilia kanisa lakini kwa sababu ya maombi Mwenyezi Mungu akatupatia serikali ambaye naongozwa na kiongozi ambaye ni mcha Mungu Tukiwa hapa na kuru your excellency tuko na shukurani mingi sana kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu hii na kuru hii kaunti ya Nakuru mwaka uliopita wa 2022 ndio ilikuwa headquarter ya uchochezi ya kupiganisha jamii na tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu aliguza roho za watu wetu walipojaribu kuchochewa wapigane wachukiane wakasema la tunasema asanti kwa Mwenyezi Mungu hapa na kuru kulikuwa kumepangwa pamoja na Usian Gishu na Tanzania wiki mbili kabla ya uchaguzi kupiganisha jamii mipango ya kikatili ya kinyama ilikuwa imepangwa vile manyumba ya jamii moja itachomwa isemekane ni jamii nyingine watu waanze kupigana ikapangwa watu wakatafutiwa malori atuwawekwe warudishwe pahali walitoka ndio uchaguzi uchafuke lakini kwa sababu iko Mungu mbinguni watu ya Rift Valley mlikataa uchochezi na mkaweka amani tunataka tuseme asante your excellency ushidi wako kama tungetoa tu historia fupi uliongozwa na Mwenyezi Mungu na wewe rais wetu wale tulikuwa tunafanya kazi karibu na wewe 
saa zingine roho zetu zilienda chini tukiona vile tumefinywa na vile tumesukumwa lakini wewe ulikuwa unatutuliza roho unatuambia tutegemee Mwenyezi Mungu na kwa hivyo ushindi wetu ni Mwenyezi Mungu sisi hatuwezi sema